There's still plenty of unanswered questions surrounding the weekend's aborted mutiny in Russia after Wagner mercenaries retreated from the southern city of Rostov-on-Don. Fighters from the groups have headed back to their bases in return for guarantees for their safety. Our North America correspondent Barbara Miller is following the story for us in Washington. Barbara, good morning. The Secretary of State has been speaking about these fast-moving events. What has Antony Blinken had to say? That's right. And as they were unfolding, as we saw the Wagner Group mercenaries advance on Moscow, uh, there was silence from the administration. They were not speaking out. They were simply letting us know that they were holding talks with their allies and that they were keenly monitoring the situation. President Biden was being regularly briefed. Now that there appears to have been a, a de-escalation and this apparent agreement, which we'll see Evgeny Prigozhin go to Belarus, Antony Lincoln's come out with a series of interviews on the Sunday talk shows in which he says that the whole affair shows that President Putin's power is weakened. He said, uh, look at him, 16 months ago, there he was on the doorstep of Kiev. And now, uh, a year and a bit later, he's having to defend Moscow from what Blinken called a mercenary of his own making. But the Secretary of State was cautious to say it is still not entirely clear what the situation is in Moscow. We don't know, for example, the fate of the military leaders, the Defence Secretary Shoigu or the top general Gerasimov. Uh, and we don't know if Prigozhin has turned up in Belarus. Uh, so sounding a note of caution in those comments, uh, saying that Vladimir Putin was in fact weakened. This is clearly... Uh we see cracks uh, emerging, where they go, if, if, if anywhere. Uh, wh when they get there, very hard to say. I don't want to speculate on it, uh, but I don't think we've seen the final act. Barbara, we're also hearing that President Biden has been speaking to Volodymyr Zelensky. So what did we learn about that meeting? We heard they had a call. It was a very brief readout from the White House saying they had discussed the U.S.'s unwavering support for Ukraine's uh, efforts in the face of Russian aggression and that they had discussed recent events in Russia. We didn't find out any more about what exactly they talked about. We also heard that Lloyd Austin uh, held a call today with his Ukrainian counterpart. And the message seemed to be in a, in a flurry of calls that President Biden Biden had uh, with some key allies, the UK, Germany and France uh, yesterday. Uh, just keep quiet, just watch how this unfolds. The US really keen not to be seen to be interfering at this point, not to be seen to be taking sides. However, the administration is hoping that perhaps the distraction of the turmoil in Russia could uh, create a little window of opportunity in Ukraine's counter offensive if there's uh, what Secretary Blinken called a loss of focus there. But no, uh, at this very early stage, no concrete signs or evidence yet that in fact that counteroffensive has gained any more traction uh, since those incredible events over the weekend in Russia. Yeah, they certainly were incredible. Barbara Miller, thank you.